My name is Christian von Königsegg. I'm 40 years old and for half of my life I've been on the quest to be a leader in the hypercar industry, utilizing Swedish design combined with visionary technical solutions. Our latest car, the Agera R, is built in the old hangars of a former Swedish fighter jet squadron. Their symbol, a ghost, is now proudly painted on the back of every Königsegg. Carbon fiber is really a, 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 one of the fundamentals uh, really to make a, a car strong, very light, safe and have fantastic performance. It, it creates uh, massive rigidity but does not add weight, uh, which is crucial if you want to make a really efficient, uh, fast and, and fun sports car to drive. As far as we are aware, our cars are the most carbon fiber intense cars in production right now as we have over 400 different carbon fiber pieces. This here is an, uh, an intake uh, um, uh, for the engine, uh, intake plenum. We have some pressurized turbo pipes, uh, valve cover and even parts like the engine as we can see here are made of carbon fiber especially the parts up top on the engine to get the center of gravity low. So what we're seeing here is something as very simple as a, as a tube, it's a turbo piping. And uh, what, I'm, what I have in front of me here is a, a machined uh, uh, mold from aluminium. Even a, a, a simple detail like a tube needs a lot of thought uh, uh, to make it perfect. The CAD model is flow to check that the flow is perfect, that it has enough volume uh, to, to pass enough air to the engine. At, at top power levels and top RPM levels. It also has to have a shape which is uh, 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 strong enough and a, and a calculated thickness of the carbon fiber so that you can take the boost pressure. You can see here that it's kind of a funky shape to it, that it's, it's flow optimized for this curve. Um, we have a, an integrated mount here for a pressure and temperature sensor. Actually, when we manufacture uh, a carbon fiber apart from this tool, the first thing we do is, is to put a rele release agent here. Because in the carbon fiber prepreg, which I have here, which is actually the material the part is made out of, it's, it's uh, pre impregnated with the two component epoxy. So, if this would be put down here uh, without a release agent, it would actually stick to the tool. And then this material, the carbon fiber, is cut to suit uh, uh, the tool part. This is not optimized for this, now he has took a, a small piece, but it's uh, applied like this, uh, layer by layer, different amount of layers depending on the need. So that's actually what's going to become the part. Uh, then we need to pressurize, we need heat and pressure to consolidate this, to get, get it to have the right strength and, uh, and, and the right properties. So in order for the rest of the process not to get uh, the processing material not to get stuck into the carbon fiber and the epoxy. We put this kind of uh, release film here, which is easy to tear off of the part when it's done. And it also makes sure that this breathing uh, fabric, as, as it's called, it's called a breather, um, doesn't stick to the carbon fiber uh, piece. And, and what this does, it makes sure that the, the pressure that this is uh, subjected to or the vacuum that we also suck out, that it gets spread out and that, that we don't get pockets of air. It's making sure the atmosphere difference is controlled over the surface. So at the end we put this, this bagging material over the whole part and then we seal it off with, with, with kind of a goo that is similar to, to black chewing gum, I would say. So basically these are the elements included in, in the production of, of the part. And it's quite intricate, especially with a, with a tube like this that has to then, you put carbon fiber here, we put carbon fiber here, and then these, I'll take this out right now, but then they have to match together. And now we need this bagging material to come in, 
into the tube to pressurize the tube from the inside and then to seal off the tool from the outside. Of course, the thinner, the lighter, um, uh, but, but also uh, less strong part. So if it's a safety critical part or like this, a pressurized part, it really needs to be calculated well to have the right amount of carbon fiber. You never want to put more carbon fiber than you need into a part because, first of all, carbon fiber is expensive, so the part becomes unnecessarily expensive. It takes more time to apply the carbon fiber than, than it's actually needed. And in the end also the part becomes heavier, which is maybe the worst part in a, in a super light sports car. The end result is this tube. So in the end it's a quite simple looking part, but, but there's a lot of thought that has gone into to what it becomes in the end. Already of course from shaping the part, but also when it comes to laying it up and, and getting the right consolidation. You can see you get, straight from the tool you get a quite nice um, even surface that doesn't require a lot of uh, hand fettling afterwards. As it is a very complex uh, technology, there are many types of, of weaves, many types of carbon fiber strands and, 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 and different philosophies how to apply them. It's a little bit of a black art really and, and, and really lessons learned and, and what kind of philosophies you're working uh, towards. Um, but we have been developing carbon fiber parts since 1994, so um, I would say we have a quite good experience and can create extreme lightweight and strong parts with, based on the knowledge we have and, and the analysis tools we have. So it's, it's really a labor intensive process and, and, and the persons involved in the manufacturing really needs to know what they're doing to, to get the desired result. Of course here we have a much more complex part so you, you can imagine what has to go into this compared to, to a simple tube. Um, and, and, and what's nice about carbon fiber is you, you can vary the strength and thicknesses in different areas with no limit. It's just how much thought you, need, you want to put into it and, uh, and how much labor you want to put into it. But it can be so optimized, like this corner can have a little bit extra carbon, it can be thinner here, we can have a different direction. Not many other materials gives that kind of freedom. At the same time, not many other materials can soak up so much time in, in the production process. But that's what makes the car extreme and, and, and what it is in the end. Koenigsegg and carbon fiber are very closely integrated and, and it has to be that way in this very competitive market we're in.